This video is for electricians all over the UK. Not just to call you out, but to say, don't do it, mate. So you get called to a customer's house and they say, I just want to put an extra socket in my new shed that I've installed in my garden. And I've already got power outside, so you can just come off of that. And yeah, you can. You can just take an armoured, nice and neat, off of that socket on the outside power and feed their shed. But what if that socket's a spur off the ring main in the house? You're in effect spurring off a spur. And that's a no-no, and here's why. That original spur being put in is one socket, which if you plug something into it, it's always got a 13 amp plug top. So then the maximum that circuit can pull is 13 amps. So then say you come along and you say, yeah, I can put a double socket inside your shed so you can do your DIY, where you maybe plug a heater in because you're cold sometimes. Now with that extra socket, that circuit, that spur can pull 30 amps if it wanted to. And if that happens, that cable's gonna melt long before the fuse will trip. So stop spurring off of spurs. You're putting lives at risk, mate. And yes, it might add a couple of hundred quid to the job, but what would you rather do? Have the customer call you up to say, the fuse is tripped, there's a problem, or not the customer, it'll be the police to say there's been a fire after you installed a socket in someone's shed. 